comes to audit, we can learn a lot from the nursery rhyme, Goldilocks and the Three Bears. Now, let me explain what I mean by that, or should I say, uh, please bear with me. For those that don't know the story, let me paraphrase. For the first, the bears, it's no, 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 this porridge is too hot. For the second bear, it's, well, this is no good. This porridge is freezing cold. Look, I know it was really Goldilocks in the story, not the bears, but stick with me here. Audit data is the same as the porridge. It can be too hot or too cold. Let me explain. Let's say I'm responsible for database security, and in this particular case, my interest lies in access to the employee table. Now, if I go query my unified audit trail and I find no records, then I'm not particularly confident that I'm actually auditing the right stuff. I don't have enough audit information. My porridge is too cold. Conversely, if I leap in there and query my unified audit trail, and I just get this constant stream of access to the employee table, then the audit data is too hot. I'll never find any suspicious activity in there because it's just gonna be lost amongst the quagmire of quite acceptable and normal activity. But often that kind of overkill option has been our only option. In 23C, we've made some inroads to address this. We now have a much more granular auditing option available to us to make sure we don't get overwhelmed with audit data that might mask uh, suspicious behavior. To continue my porridge metaphor, that way we make sure the amount of data we're getting is not too cold, not too hot, but just right. I have a table here called T, it's just a copy of the scott.emp table, and this is the table I'm interested in. Lots of users might be accessing this table, including applications all the time, but I'm only interested in capturing access to some sensitive columns, in this case, the employee name and the salary. In 23C, I can create a audit policy called Col Lever Audit, which will only be activated when someone does a select on either of those two columns, not just on general access to the table. I'll activate the policy and now I'll run some sample queries against my table called T. I'll connect to Scott and this first query doesn't reference the employee name or the salary column. I'll clear my screen and run another couple of queries. The first one references both columns and the second one just references the employee name column. I just wanna make sure that both of these are captured. Historically, all three queries plus any other query to the table called T would be captured in my audit trail. But in 23C, I'm only gonna capture the ones that referenced my sensitive columns. I'll connect to system so I can look at my audit trail. I'll flick my NLS settings so I get a cleaner looking date. And now I'll see what's in my audit trail. I'll grab some relevant columns and you can see I only captured the two queries that referenced employee name or salary. Since its introduction in 12C, unified auditing was already more efficient, more powerful, and more flexible than traditional auditing. But now in 23C, we've made that gap even larger. For that reason, unified auditing is now the only game in town when it comes to auditing from 23C onwards. Traditional auditing is no longer going to be an option. Now, before you panic, before you think, oh, what do I have to do? What do I have to do? Is it gonna make my upgrade painful? No, there's three critical things here that are gonna help you and have a seamless migration to unified auditing when you upgrade to 23C. Number one, any existing traditional audit settings you have will continue to work just fine in 23C. They're not gonna be taken away from you. However, you can't edit them or modify them. To make changes or enhance them, you need to migrate them to unified auditing, but your existing settings will work just fine. Number two, we've got a very important Moz note. Inside that Moz note, as well as giving you some ideas on how you can migrate, we have a conversion script. So if you had the DDL commands for your traditional auditing, you can now take those commands, run them through the converter script that you can download from this Moz note, and then it'll actually give you very closely to the new unified auditing commands you need to run. I'd recommend you review them to make sure that they you know, pass a sanity check, but it's gonna make that upgrade process much easier for you. And number three, even if you're unfamiliar with either traditional auditing or the new unified auditing that came in in 12C, we have some facilities predefined for you in unified auditing to help you get up to speed with secure database auditing. We have Aura Secure Config and Aura Login Logout predefined policies that you can take advantage of. 
So you can just slap those in place and you're gonna capture probably the most critical things you need when it comes to basic level auditing in an Oracle database. To wrap this up, let's face it. Every day, most of us hear about through the press or the media, some company that got hacked or had their security compromised. Security, I think, has usurped every other facility in a database and become the number one critical component that all database practitioners have to be aware of and guard their digital assets. So when it comes to auditing, a critical part of that security, then make sure you move to Unified Auditing in 23C. It's more powerful, it's more flexible, and as you can see, it's just like the porridge. You'll be able to get your auditing just right. Thank you.